Hey, we're the Ohio Guys, and today we're joined at AlmaCon with Eric Vale. How are you doing today, Mr. Vale? Wonderful. Good. Um, our first question for you is, uh, what is it like working in the industry today? Uh, it's great. It's great. I, I hear uh, over the years a lot of people talk about how the industry is falling apart, but uh, at least from my perspective, it's not at all. I, you know, I get plenty of work, and I, I, uh, I go out and I get to meet great people and, and uh, find myself working on uh, new properties all the time, and I, I, I'm, I'm having a great time as always. Good. Um, what is the favorite anime that you've worked on so far? Oh, gosh. Okay. If you can pick one. <laughs> well, my favorite. You know, it changes sort of depending on my mood. I tend to vacillate between um, Desert Punk and Hitalia only because my personal tastes tend toward humor in the anime world. So, one of those two. Today, I'd probably say Desert Punk because I'm feeling a little surly. <laughs> Well, we'll just skip to that question anyway. Uh, what was it like working on Desert Punk? Because it is uh, one of our favorites as well. Uh, Desert Punk was a blast to work on. We, we had a little more freedom than we get on other anime. Because in anime, you want to be as honest uh, to the original Japanese as possible. But with Desert Punk, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the jokes didn't translate into English as well as we wanted them to. And we wanted the jokes to be as funny as they were in Japanese. So... We had a little more freedom to move around, and I was the head writer on that show, so I got to change up the jokes to make sense for our audience. And we also built in a lot of time in the booth with me playing the lead character to allow improvisation, and I could bat back and forth with the director and find the jokes that really worked and really sold the comedy for the show. Good. Um, what was it like working on Borderlands 2, especially considering it cleaned up at the Video Game Awards this year? Yeah, that was fun. Uh, Borderlands 2 was a blast. Uh, I was, uh, you know, I, I played a ton of characters. So, so many characters in the show, I, I, in, in the game, I, I can't really remember. One of my favorites was uh, Gage's dad. Yeah, he was, he was a blast. <laughs> that was accidental, actually, um, how I ended up playing Gage's dad. But um, they just said, Eric, you're a dad do that and I did it but I was the voice director for the game as well okay. because uh, we recorded all of the voices on the game at Chris Sabat's studio Ocatron 5000 and he just he asked me if I would come in and be the voice director for the game I said absolutely I, I love working with Chris I love working at his studio and chance to work on a huge property like Borderlands 2 was too good to pass up and getting to work with literally hundreds of actors some of my favorite people was a bonus and you know I got to meet and work with uh, you know Anthony Birch who everyone knows and he's fan just a fantastic writer all the Gearbox guys uh, were just wonderful to work with just so creative and fun and um, then of course Anthony's sister Ashley who uh, played Tiny Tina in the game and one of my favorite characters just Ridiculously funny. I just, just a, it's a funny couple of people there. So it was, it was one of my, one of the highlights of my career so far. We enjoyed it. I will say that. <laughs> Thanks. Um, if you could be any characters you played in real life, who would it be? And you can mix and match as much as you want. Mm. In real life? Yeah. Ooh. I really don't know. Um, you know it. Uh, Honestly, it would probably have to be Sanji from One Piece, only because of the cooking skills. You know, I'd never have to fend for a meal again, and and I could I could cook for my family, I could cook for myself, and also I kind of don't like the water all that much. And I think if I was Sanji, I'd I'd have a lot easier time sailing. Okay. Um, is there anything coming out right now you can talk about? If not, so if not, that's okay. We understand. Well, not in anime. Unfortunately, I, I am working on like two big anime properties right now that I'm I'm on lock and key about. But the one thing that I can talk about right now is a movie called Chariot. Okay. That I just wrote and produced. We just finished shooting it a week ago. Um, you can go to chariotmovie.com and check out the website. Uh, it stars uh, Anthony Montgomery, who was on Star Trek Enterprise. It also stars voice actors that everyone knows, uh, Ian Sinclair and Brina Palencia. They're in it. Uh, the movie's all about 
seven strangers who wake up on a plane with no idea how they got there, and the United States is under a nuclear attack. It's a great thriller, and uh, we hope to have the thing finished and wrapped up for release in late summer, August or September 2013, so, you know, they can follow it, they can find it, find the Chariot uh, Facebook page, Chariot on Twitter, and uh, chariotmovie.com, that's the biggest thing I got to push right now. Okay, well, it sounds interesting, we'll probably check it out as well. Please do, please do. Um, Last question, do you have any uh, fan pages on Facebook, Twitter, or any other social media sites? I do, I'm, you know, I'm on, I have a, I have a fan page on Facebook, which is, it's Eric Vale, it's easy to find. I'm at Eric Vale on Twitter, and I'm really active on Twitter, not Facebook as much. And um, you guys, you know, if you, if you fo- follow me on Twitter, it'll link up to everything else I'm doing. And I, I try to at least put funny jokes on there as often as possible. And posted a ridiculous picture of Chris Sabat and myself on a plane yesterday, so, you know. I try to keep as active as I can. Okay. Well, we've been the Ohio Guys, and this is Almacon, and he's Eric, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.